Now here's a brand that I'm all caught up with, I think. <laughs> There's the original, which is a self-titled. There's Dulce Diablo, which is amazing. There's Doza, which was the third release. Now here we have Narco Oasis. This is a tropical gourmand. There's passion fruit, there's vanilla, creamy sandalwood, there's sea amber, there's black currant, there's so many juicy, sexy notes in here. There's a touch of iris as well, if I'm remembering correctly. So here is a brown sugar, fruity, juicy, blood orange, creamy sandalwood, vanilla musk type of a fragrance. This is a stunning new release and I'm going to tell you all about it. I'm very excited to tell you all about it. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I get into this brand new release by the brand Narcotica, you can find Narcotica fragrances at Door Prestige. I'm going to leave all of the links down below. This is not a sponsored video at all. I'm not getting paid anything for this video. The only thing is I want to point you in the right direction if you're interested in either getting a sample or if you're looking for an authentic product to purchase. And of course, they have a bunch of other hard to find and high end niche brands. And here we have Narco Oasis. Now, if you do enjoy fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up. Guys, I went through the note breakdown and I saw the brown sugar. I saw the vanilla beans. I saw the passion fruit, the juicy pear, the black currant, the musk, the vanilla, all of these beautiful, beautiful ingredients. And I said, this is a gourmand, but smelling the passion fruit, the blood orange, just that combination of all these exotic fruit notes. I was like, this is indeed tropical and this is exactly what they were going for this is a tropical gourmand and i remember smelling another one that also has peach in it because this has peach alongside the pear dulce diablo that one has peach and apricot with chocolate and boozy notes wow that is my favorite narcotica fragrance ever one of my favorite gourmand fragrances of all time composed by claude durr here, let's see if this one is going to top that one. I'm going to do a quick comparison later on in this review, but first I got to talk to you about the smell. So let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation. So right in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get this juicy, fruity, sexy, lush, saccharin, slightly citric opening. The blood orange in here, it makes its presence known. It is not one of the main players. It doesn't dominate the composition because, you know, if there's a little bit too much citrus, you're getting this really nice introduction that's going to be very short-lived. And a lot of times it could be deceptive because, you know, the top notes etherealize in like 15, 20 minutes and then you're left with something that has progressed and evolved quite a bit and it's quite different from what it started off with but that's not the case here this fragrance opens up with a little bit of that blood orange it makes its presence known immediately you're going to get the passion fruit you're going to get the black currant you're going to get the juicy pear you're going to get the peach it's just so juicy and fruity and that cocktail of fruits is spellbinding of course, you're also gonna get the jasmine, a touch of iris, you're gonna get some really clean, smooth floral ingredients, the vanilla, the brown sugar. Right away, this fragrance tells you, hey, look at me, I'm a gourmand, right? You gotta notice that about me. I'm not just a fruity, you know, fun, flirty fragrance, I'm also a gourmand. I have this sweet backbone that carries the development of the fragrance, and as it dries down, the several times that I've worn it on skin, I just noticed that progression of it getting sweeter and sweeter, and then eventually the vanilla and that sugary component came out and you know in the dry down it's really interesting and also kind of a little quirky because it has that sea amber note so there's a component to it as it's drying down it, it's like you're on a tropical oasis you're surrounded by cocktails or fruits and there's this saccharin aroma in the air but you're also enjoying all of these splendors of earth by the seaside so you're getting that occasional whiff of salty air and this one is just so wonderful. You know, I always get scared when I see passion fruit or melon or fruity notes in a fragrance because I'm thinking to myself, uh oh, it's gonna smell like Erba Pura by Sospiro. And that's not the case here. Now, although this one does have peach and it does have some really beautifully done gourmand qualities to it, do I like this one as much as Dulce Diablo? I think it's quite different. Dulce Diablo is more along my personal wheelhouse just because it's more of a cold weather 
fragrance. This one, because of the setting that it evokes, is something I'd feel inclined to wear in the hotter weather. And for me, when it comes to the hotter weather, I really do enjoy the mints, the citrus, some of the aquatics occasionally, but this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. This is probably my second favorite that the brand has to offer. I really do enjoy Doza, just this beautiful spicy amber. Dulce Diablo is 100% number one. And then the original, which kind of smells a bit like weed. Uh, that one is probably in last place, but this one is fantastic. If you can get a sample, like I said, Door Prestige carries it. Not a sponsored video, but I'm gonna drop a link down below for your convenience. Please try this one if you can. Beautiful tropical gourmand fragrance for 2023 and beyond. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, like I said, this stuff is really unique. It has some fruity notes, doesn't smell like Byredos Pulp, doesn't smell like Herba Pura, doesn't smell like other fragrances, possessing somewhat of a similar note breakdown. It actually does things in its own way, and I'm really impressed by that. In terms of the longevity, eight, to 10 hours on skin. Projection was fantastic for the first hour of application. It did radiate within an arm's length. It became an elbows length scent right around hour six, a skin scent right around hour 10, I would say. Some of you might get slightly better projection and performance, generally speaking, depending on your skin chemistry. Versatility, perfectly unisex, great for the hotter weather because it does convey a tropical vibe. I think this one is great for anybody of any age, and I think this one can be worn casually. There's just something about this. I can see it working really well in a casual setting, but you know what? It has some really nice, sophisticated qualities to it as well. I could, I could wear this one in a formal scenario as well. I just think of relaxing by the beach, and that's, you know, very casual to me. And in terms of the presentation, the white box, I like that they're playing around with these different aesthetics, but the bottle looks exactly the same. Same silhouette and gold hardware. It's really, really nice, very heavy, and it looks expensive as well. My final verdict on this fragrance Narco Oasis. It is a gorgeous fragrance. It uses these tropical fruits in a way that I haven't tried before. It smells quite different from other tropical themed fragrances that I have in my collection and that I've tried throughout the many years that I've been doing this. And what I can say is that this is just an amazing fragrance. If you have the opportunity to sample it, I would put this high priority on your list. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this review of Narco Oasis by Narcotica, available at Door Prestige. Thank you for joining me. If you took something of value from today's episode, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I do upload these daily videos to YouTube, and it includes top 10 lists, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, a lot of that good stuff. Give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm as well before you leave. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye.